this is your last call we'll be looking at Zer, eververse and ada in that order so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe other than that Zer is on watcher's grave on ness is currently selling dude the season of the lost armor set i definitely think this is worth a pickup i absolutely love this armor let me go look at the armor set for all the classes real quick while you guys are looking at the armor i definitely think this is worth a pickup just because the armor is really cool we're going to start off with the hunters first for the hunters the helmet is definitely worth a pickup i think it's one of the coolest helmets that the hunters got uh the arms are pretty cool i think the only piece that i really don't use is the cloak everything else i have used to a certain extent even the boots i use a lot the arms as well helmet again such a banger titans i think your helmet is really cool it does take shaders really weird sometimes but it's still really really good i think the arms are not as great as the other pieces i think the chest piece is cool i think the boots are super dope and even the mark is pretty cool as well for the warlocks i actually think the helmet is decent the arms are okay the chest piece i actually think is pretty cool the boots are okay and then the bond is actually really really cool so i definitely think you should pick it up because again it is super super dope it's definitely one of my favorite armor sets that we got in a season as for the weapons we're going to be looking at breath attacks with feeding frenzy and frenzy i think this is a pretty interesting role i just don't think brass attacks is like an ad control monster so that for me i'm like ah, this this is interesting definitely but i don't know i definitely would skip this one considering the one that i have i like way better death adder with auto loading holster and dragonfly extraordinary rendition with subsistence and one for all if you don't have a good one this is a pretty good one uh tripwire canary perfect float and harmony we have timelines vertex with auto loading holster and demo we have falling guillotine with tireless blade and counter attack and then crown splitter with uh thresh and vorpal weapon i don't know if thresh or if uh crown splitter is showing up because i'm on my titan and if you go to your hunter or warlock it probably switch to those weapons um that'd be interesting i mean i'll probably say right now uh or have it right here in the text Hawk moon with range finder <clears throat> and then for the other exotics it's gonna be lord of wolves which if you know man you know this gun de decimated pvp for a while a lot of times too we have Gwyn's Invest. We have the Insurmountable Skull Fort with really high recovery. Resilience is pretty piss poor though. And then Vesper of Radius with decent, like it's decent, <clears throat> definitely decent. <clears throat> Cause it would be what? A 2018, 12, 18 and eight. That's not bad. I think the mobility is way too high, but not, not super high, but high enough to bother me. Let's see what exotic I get from my Titan second chance i'm not even gonna look at it bro like i had second chance sucks i mean i don't know i don't know i just I'm not the biggest fan of it so let me know what you guys think we're gonna be looking at eververse real quick just because uh what oh no so we have argent territory unfortunately this man they really just butchered this uh this shader because they used to shader really really well hopefully if i remember i'll have the video up right now of me reviewing Argent Territory because back then it was actually really cool. The red didn't show up at all at all. And it was a really good shader to like um combine all of the armor pieces into one color, which is why I really liked it. Unfortunately they put the red in there and it just kind of made the shader quite literally shit. Um Whispered Sheen. I have also made a video on this one and I actually like the shader quite a bit. But yeah if you guys want to check out those videos I'll hopefully put them up like both of them right now i'll have them in the description and i might just do a comment on it so that way i actually remind myself uh we have resurrected shadow we have callous promise which is a really cool ornament for that one gun the cabal gun i forget what it's called i don't actually uh skyburner's oath i think i think this is the cleanest ornament it got i think it has two yeah, it has a, a red a red war one, if I remember correctly. Either way, cool. The uh, Turn the Tables, which is funny considering we have another one that basically you do that, like you flip a table, which is funny. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have uh, Anomalous Domain for Deterministic Chaos. I just don't like the colors. Like, honestly, I don't think red and purple really go together. Like it's red, purple, and gold. And it's just like, I just... This all looks gross. And not only that, it's just a shader change. So I'm not the biggest fan of shader changes, uh, especially for it's not bad. But I just yeah, I just no. 
Serpent's Reach. Well, let me keep it a buck, man. Like, it looks cool. Does it change colors? Changes colors, so that's good. I don't know, man. It, it, the, the Sparrow has to, like, really wow me for me to be like, yo, I'd get that, and I still wouldn't get it, because fucking 2500 for a sparrow is wild uh heliotropium which i actually do think this one looks cool but again not cool enough to get it though uh desecrated shell which i actually think this does look really cool let me see how it shaders actually Ooh, this kind of look cool it's kind of hold on hold on let me see what the green one damn that does look really cool though um i don't even know which one this goes with specifically like like, what's the set with this one? Because if it looks cool, I'll I'll get it. Oh, no, no, space. Live Disco Dance. That's like, excuse the fashion. I'm currently working on um, that chess piece that you use with a auto rifle or LMG. I forgot what it's called. Actium Warwick. Yeah, that's what I'm currently. I don't have it on, but I, that's what I was working on. Um, we have Oiled Gunmet. Oh, wait, hold on. No, we have a Risky Archer. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. cool and then we have seven sisters which is a really good shader if you want to have this is more predominantly if you have like a lot of cloth lock cloth on you because you have this really cool starlight effect on cloth we have oiled gunmetal which is a good shader if you want to combine it with a gun or if you want to have this like black sheen to it because it looks really cool we have black bloody tooth which is a really good black and red unfortunately i'm just not the biggest fan of the color of red um it's i don't know it's a little too it's a little too flat i guess you would say and then smashing success which is the joker shader which is why i never use it so that's pretty much it for zer let me know what you get or not zer well zer and eververse let me know what you guys are going to be doing for those two as for Ada, when she's selling sato try one of my favorite if not my favorite shader in the game just because the other uh forge shaders specifically the forge shaders funnily enough those uh they have a yellow to them which i don't really like so i think this one's just the best one because all of the colors are just so good we have the mad monk which is also a pretty good shader i definitely think this is a good shader if you want to combine it with cloth because as you guys can see the cloth just has a really deep red or black to it which i really like and then dead orbit's fate which is a good black and white shader um you can definitely find some armor pieces that are just black like the arms but yeah it's definitely gonna be annoying to do that and then for the armor it's gonna be the class specific like celebration armor from destiny 2 vanilla uh specifically it's not the first armor that you get when you log into the game so i definitely think this is worth a pickup because some of these pieces like a lot of classes can use some pe some of these pieces specifically for the hunters i think the helmet's pretty cool just doesn't change color i think the arms are decent i think the chest piece is pretty cool boots i definitely think are usable and then the cloak is okay there's again pieces there's just pieces that don't doesn't change color for this whole set titans i think the chest piece is probably the weakest piece of this whole set everything else is really cool the helmet you can't change the color of the visor but it's really cool i think the boots are really cool i think the arms are decent and again like i said the chest piece i think is the weakest part and the mark i actually think is really cool warlocks unfortunately i think the only good piece is the helmet other than that i think that oh my god the chest piece is bad the arms are bad um the boots are decent considering they're just regular boots and then the bond i think is like whatever as well so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point uh be safe and i'll see you guys later